Good morning, peeps. <laughs> Holy, beautiful, amazing souls. How's everybody this morning? <clears throat> so today, I'd like to discuss people-pleasing and empathy. It's kind of a trip that when any child is abused, they will make it their own fault to keep a safe home environment for themselves. I tell parents all the time, like when you're hitting your kids, they're not going to hate you, but they are going to hate themselves. And as a product of that, when we grew up continuing to hate ourselves, it's not the healthiest path. <laughs> so, I know through the abuse I went through when I was raised, through the sexual abuse, through the physical abuse, through the emotional abuse, I had to read a room and read the energy in it and see if I'm at risk or not and see what's going on. And ask myself constantly, are you in danger? Because things were able to flip like that in a second. I was just writing, journaling a little bit. And it's, it's amazing. I really came to this conclusion only really recently where... Wow, I put down myself so many times for the sake of others, for hopefully making them feel good, for looking for validation because I wasn't validating myself enough. And we're hurting ourselves so much by doing so. This morning there was a situation and I like kind of called myself out on it. And um, I was uh, I was praying with a candle, and today I decided to go to the synagogue. I do sometimes, and um, I was sitting like just right outside the main doors, and I had a candle there, and I was just doing a little bit of a, a meditative prayer. This guy comes over to me, and usually, especially in a Sephardic shul, when you see a candle, it's um, it's for uh, it's for the hilula or yurtzeit, which is the remembrance of somebody who passed away sometimes a rabbi or something like that and uh and i'm like no it's just just for me just for me to focus i like candles the guy's like ah oh, okay and <laughs> and i'm like thinking oh my god i have to prove myself i have to validate i have to <laughs> and i even started laughing i'm like shlomo oh my god dude there is no way you are gonna get for this is just for everybody this is no way you're gonna get everybody in this world to like you as a <laughs> as a therapist, as a healer, as doing my work, there is no way that I'm matching everybody as clients, that everybody would be good for me. How boring would this world be if we were all the same thing? I mean, that would just really suck and take the excitement out of everything. So... The empathetic, the, the, the empath part was really feeling the vibes around me to protect myself. It was a peacekeeper part. There was a fix it guy part where something wrong in the situation, let's keep the peace. This tension is getting too high. This is getting crazy. Oh my God, I need to figure out a situation quick. Make everybody laugh. Do something. Whatever it was that we had to save ourselves with. And there was nothing wrong with that. That was simply surviving as a child. But guess what, beautiful folks? We are not children anymore. We can just close that freaking door. <laughs> because uh, we can hold ourselves now. We can hug ourselves. We can self-validate. There is no need to peacekeep. When it's not your job. There is no need to be afraid of conflicts. 
there's no need to be afraid for sticking up for ourselves and what we need. Because if we're not taking care of ourselves in this world, nobody is doing that job for us. So many of us want to take care of everybody. I have friends who worked with teens, worked with, um, you know, teens who were abused, drug issues, this, that. And, and I used to work with them back in the day and I see so many of them including myself at times. Thank God I made that decision to really take care of me, but so many just came with sicknesses because they completely forsaken themselves for the good of others. And that's beautiful and that's special and that's spiritual and powerful and whatever people might say. But when those people get sick, you think they're thinking, oh my God, I am so special that I didn't take care of myself, that I couldn't meditate or do yoga or take a run when I was feeling overwhelmed, but just let it all eat out. Just, just, just eat, eat me up from inside. <clears throat> Whether it's martial arts, yoga, painting, running on the beach, sitting down and just breathing consciously, whatever, whatever your healthy habits are for you, they become habits once you start. They become a pattern once you start it. So many patterns were st have been started and perhaps are still going without our actual conscious doing but whether it was subconscious or a survival mechanism or both you have the power to start any pattern you want to start any habits you'd like start a hobby whatever it might be you enjoy it's just about doing it for you and taking care of your beautiful self because you are beautiful because you are worthy and most of all oh my god i can't believe i almost forgot this bar permission permission give yourself permission <laughs> because nobody gives us permission for us you want to look for validation from here from there sure you might get permission you might get validation but it's not consistent give yourself permission and you might have to do that a few times a day and you might have to forgive yourself throughout the day for screwing up and that is great and that is beautiful and that shows you're working that shows you're on this incredible amazing insanely beautiful journey and no it's not easy and sometimes it is sometimes it's hard as hell Waking up this morning, I didn't sleep the best last night. I kept waking up middle of the night. But I was so at peace with it. There's so much change going on in my life. And I'm grateful for it. So I look at my clock, 6 a.m., and I'm like, you know what? I mean, it's early. My schedule's not too busy until a little later. Okay, I could sleep another two hours. But then I'm thinking, like, really, am I going to give in? And I felt a little bit of victiminess, you know, that little bit of, oh, I feel so bad for myself. Oh, God. Oh, I was, <laughs> oh, I, I was abused. Oh, I was used. Oh, I should, I should give myself the self-care, which is really self-abuse. That's bullshit, dudes. Self-care is caring for yourself even when it's hard as hell doing what's right for you not it, it, it's also taking care of yourself being good to yourself being nice to yourself going through the journeys but self-care is when it's hard as hell and still doing the right decision for you guys nobody can make a decision for you nobody's gonna give you the power you have to do it for yourself and I know you were in pain 
and I know it hurt. And I know you wanted somebody to grab you and save you from those years of <sighs> being murdered thousands of times from all the abuse you might have went through. And that sucks you went through that and you didn't deserve that. And that's not on you. That's the actions of a sick individual. So be nice, be kind, but also be headstrong and beautiful with yourself. It goes together. There's eating healthy, there's movement, there's journaling, there's therapy, there's doing so many things that accumulate and just help you become that one truly beautiful person who you are. Nobody can take that beauty away from you because you're such an individual. There is no one else like you. So why are you putting your own self down? Are you going to give yourself permission to rock today? Are you going to make a change? Uh, and it's also not judging others when you pass a certain point. If you, uh, if you just lost a lot of weight and you see somebody stuffing their face and they're over and they're heavy and you're thinking, oh my God, look at me. No, no, just give love. Be a beacon of light. We are no better than the next person. All of us are such, seriously, just the word individual. We're individually wrapped. We're individually born. Man, just take a look at the power even. You got ourselves. Remember those cars when we were kids and you just um, roll it back and then, and then it goes forward by itself? I forgot what, it, what, the, what it's called. Just using the inertia, right? We got, we're using that power and driving it forward. You know how that looks from our perspective and from God's, God's perspective from us. Sure, we can roll the ball. Sure, it can go down the block, down the hill, but eventually it stops. And God's taking a little sack of little tiny balls and they're becoming these tremendous fish in the ocean. These tiny little seeds and they're becoming these beautiful, beautiful redwoods. Choose the right side, man. If you got issues with God, talk it out with him. You want to curse him out? Curse her out? Curse! Go for it. Talk. Take actions. Pick yourself up and choose you because you're the right team to be on. I love you guys. And God loves you. And he only wants the absolute best for you more than you can ever imagine i have children and i love them so freaking much i cannot imagine a, a more <laughs> powerful love than that however yet it says like god is that's nothing compared to the to the power and and the love that god has for us oh my god that's just like whoo and he loves you and he wants you and he wants the best for you but you need to take the steps. Nobody can do that for you. So take a few breaths. Listen to that inner voice. You're bugging out. You're anxious. Do some jumping jacks. Do some squats. Lower that anxiety a little bit. And as you start these habitual, beautiful patterns... The world seems so much brighter. The world is beautiful. And you are beautiful. And there'll be hard days. There'll be great days. There'll be beautiful moments and moments where you just want to roll up and uh, go into a blanket and shut it all out. There's moments where you might have suicidal thoughts and say, oh my God, after this, I am out of this world. Done. Done. It's so much pain. And I am so sorry you had to go through that pain. That child did not deserve that pain. And that's not on you. So stop carrying those sins and actions of others. 
but we're just messed up people, sick, unfortunately sick people. Hold yourself, love yourself, forgive yourself for the way you've lived until now. Forgive yourself constantly and be that beautiful cheerleader, just rooting, just rooting yourself on. Breathe. You know what? Just breathe with me right now and just, just take three beautiful breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Put your hands on your belly. And feel it. You're still breathing. You're alive. And while you're breathing, there's always room for change. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for you to rock on and be the best possible you you can be. Have an awesome day, guys.